Hi, I'm Tom Lippincott, and this is Diatonic Triads Complete, Part 2, where we talk about suspended triads. This example beside that, I've got... So we had the F hold over from the G7 chord, and then resolve to the E after the rest of the voice is already had. So in effect, the F was suspended over into the next chord, and that's where that name comes from. That brings us to our next example here, which is where we're taking our old friend, the C major diatonic triads, up the scale and converting them all to sus triads. So we do that simply by taking the note that's on the B string, the, or the third of each chord, and bringing it up one diatonic step. So in the case of C major, we're bringing the C to F, getting that sound. In the case of D minor, we're bringing the F up to G. E minor, bring the G up to A. I could put just about any bass note from the key of C as the bottom note of that. Let's say A. This gives me this uh, kind of open a Aeolian kind of sound. It doesn't really sound as much like a traditional A minor chord. Now, so far, everything we've been talking about going up and down the scale has been uh, talking about what we could call cycle two. And if you'll recognize this from the first class where we did that with the regular triads. And we can also take this through other diatonic cycles, cycle three. Next example, 11, is a more straightforward one, root, fifth, and fourth, with fingering B. In example 16, we look at kind of an alternate fingering that we haven't talked about for one of those inversions, which is the one that has two perfect fifths. Well, as it turns out, those are relatively playable on three adjacent strings. Now, for example, 18, we move out of the major scale into the melodic minor scale. Now at the bottom of the page, example 20 shows us kind of a real world application of this melodic minor sus kind of sound. So what I've done is I've taken a minor 2-5-1 progression in the key of C minor. So I've got D half diminished, G7 altered, C minor 6. Those three chords, typical 2-5-1 in a minor key. If I put the D underneath, you can kind of hear the sound. Uh, but now I'm changing each of those to a sus4, so the third of each of those triads, in this case uh, A flat augmented becomes A flat augmented sus sharp 4, B flat becomes B flat sus sharp 4, C becomes C suspended, and D diminished becomes D diminished sus, so that gives me this sound. Kind of falls under the fingers easily, and it sounds pretty cool as giving you the sound of D half diminished. And more just thinking them as, of them as D half diminished sound with this shape that I kind of have under my fingers and then a, a G7 altered sound that has this shape that I have under my fingers and kind of seeing the whole scale on all the strings at once in a way. 
Um, so it's not like when I'm actually applying this stuff, I'm thinking, you know, A flat augmented sus sharp four, then B, right? There, there's no time in the real world to think like that. So this is something that maybe could be a rubato intro to a song that's in C minor, let's say.